All right, everyone, got one more video for you today. Um, what is up here today, YouTube? Jigsaw0097. Um, sorry I didn't make this video when it broke, but I was I was out doing stuff. Wasn't really in a position to make a video. Um, but I'm gonna make this now, guys. Jalen Ramsey goes to the Rams. Ooh, ooh that's, a, that's a stab. Mm. Right to Sean McVay's freaking Rams, who I can't stand. Um, but you know, I gotta give the Rams credit. They made moves. A lot of people are saying like, oh, they've got the next five years of draft picks or whatever. Not the next, but like since 2017, basically it'll be like five years of no first round draft picks. Um, but you guys already know my philosophy. I would much rather sign good, young, free agents that are proven than take a shot in the draft. If you have the ability to go out and get a, a star player, you just do it. You just do it. Especially if it's you already know he's good. There's a there's a war, a body of work there. So the Eagles really dropped the ball on this guys by not getting Jalen Ramsey, in my opinion. Um, but you know, it's not the end of the world. There's still Patrick Peterson out there, I guess. There's Chris Harris, whatever. I still think the Eagles are going to make some kind of move because I really just think they have to. But what a shame. What a shame. I, the Rams did give up quite a bit, but this is what you got to do. Howie Roseman, he, he disrespected the, the Jags. You know, he tried to play cheap ball. He tried to play money ball in, the, in football. It didn't work out. And that's what bothers me about Roseman sometimes is he just, as, as genius as he is with the cap, he just doesn't understand that you need star players. You need star players, guys. You need playmakers. You need guys that opposing teams game plan around that single player. If you guys remember the year that we won the Super Bowl, we had players like that. We had LeGarrette Blunt. We had Carson Wentz in his prime. You know, this is what you gotta do. And I'm not saying the draft is worthless. I'm just saying it's probably 60-40, I would say. You want veterans. Maybe not even that. Maybe like 60-40 leaning towards 60 draft, 40 veterans. You want to have at least a really good veteran at each core position if you can. So like a veteran wide receiver, veteran running back, veteran, you know, easier said than done, right? But it is possible. We have it with Malcolm Jenkins on the defense already, and then we have Fletcher Cox on the line, but we don't have anyone in the secondary, and that's the problem. We had Brian Dawkins back in the day, you know, but we don't have that now. We do have Malcolm Jenkins, but we need we needed a Jalen Ramsey is basically what I'm getting at. We needed a player like that. We still do. I don't think a Chris Harris or Patrick Peterson is going to be that. They'll probably be pretty good. I can see a Patrick Peterson honestly being like a Patrick Robinson was um, in 2017. I could see him making a pretty big impact. But I also see him as kind of like a journeyman player. That's another thing about the whole Ramsey thing and the people that and the thing that the peop that people that are criticizing this move really are missing is that even though the Rams give up two years of draft picks, they're going to have Jalen Ramsey for that entire time, guys. And if he pans out, he's going to be a huge, huge impact to that defense. We're not talking about a 30-year-old cornerback here. We're talking about a young 24-year-old in his prime. He wants to go play for a championship team quarterback. Or, sorry, cornerback. So, you know... I think the Rams made the good move, you know. Someone was going to do it. I knew that someone was going to get it. And I knew that BS of the owner that was saying that they don't want to trade, trade Ramsey. I knew that was BS. I knew what was really going on. Howie Roseman was low-balling the Jaguars. He was not getting it done. They said he offered two first-round draft picks. Not enough. He should have offered the fourth. He should have offered a player. Maybe Zach Brown now, I'm thinking. Zach Brown or Nelson Aguilar. There you go. That would have been perfect. Two first-round draft picks and Nelson Aguilar. Didn't do it. And I know there's been reports that uh, Howie Roseman was offering Zacherts, all this stuff. I don't believe any of it, guys. I know how Howie Roseman works now. I've been watching this team for years. 
he's not that kind of GM. He's the kind of GM that looks to get guys on a steal. You remember the whole Sam Bradford thing. He managed, that's the good Howie Roseman, you know, that, that is the good aspect of him, is he can basically take garbage and turn it into gold. You saw him do that with the, the destruction of the Chip Kelly team, you know, sending Byron Max, Maxwell to, and uh, Kiko Alonso to Miami, moving up in the draft to get Carson Wentz. And then, of course, trading Sam Bradford for a first round pick. That's what he did good. But what he doesn't do good is he doesn't take those picks and use them to bring in maybe better veterans. He just sits on them and says, oh, we'll draft. We'll trade back. We'll do something on draft day. And then when they draft, it's like not the best draft choices. Like they take J.J. Arcega Whiteside and, and uh, Miles Sanders in the first two rounds, or I guess not first two rounds, um, second and third rounds, when what you really should have done was taken cornerbacks. You should have taken Andre Dillard, and then you should have taken cornerbacks. This is what I'm saying. If you give up draft picks for a guy like Jalen Ramsey, you're guaranteeing that you're getting the talent you pay for. That's the bottom line. So that's really all I've got to say. You know, the Rams gave up quite a bit, but I give them props for making the move. You know, they also shipped, uh, what's his face? I'm drawing a blank now. I made a video about it. Number 22, the guy that Baltimore, um, they shipped him away. And I think they gave, they got like a fifth round draft pick. So think of it that way. They got a fifth round draft pick. Um, why can't I think of his name? I'm having a brain fart. I'm sorry, guys. You know who I'm talking about. Um, they sent him away and they got a fifth round 2020 pick and then they gave up a fourth. So really, they didn't, they only gave up really almost about two picks, two first round picks to get Jalen Ramsey. That's a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal, guys. So got to give him credit. Got to give the Rams credit. But anyway, I've rambled on long enough, guys. I'll I'll let you go here. But uh, let me know what you guys think down below. What do you think the Eagles need to do? Because for me, this tells me the Eagles really aren't serious about contending this year. That's just what I feel. If they're not willing to go out and get a guy. Remember, guys, the Rams have the same record as we do right now. They've lost three straight. But they're still willing to make the moves because they're serious about you know, turning it around. And right now, I don't see that from the Eagles. I see nothing happening. I see them promoting guys from the practice squad. Doesn't put a lot of confidence into me. Really just starts to piss me off is what it does. So I'd like to hear what you guys think about this. You know, what do you think they should do? There's the obvious choice is Patrick Peterson, you know, Chris Harris, whatever. Darius Slay, I've heard it, would be a good one, but Detroit won't give him up. So, I don't know. It is what it is. The Jalen Ramsey stuff can finally come to an end. I'm, I'm glad it's over a little bit, but very disappointed the Eagles weren't able to do it. And I had a feeling it was going to be something like this. Some jackass NFC team is going to come out of nowhere and just snag him up. Because who wouldn't? He's a, he's a playmaker. He's a game changer. He's Ramsey Island. That's what you want on a team. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that notification bell if you are a returning viewer. Um, so you can get notified when I make videos like this. Also, if you are a new viewer, please hit that subscribe button so you can uh, check out more videos that I make in the future. I cover the Philadelphia Eagles and the NFL all season long. But thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel, guys. You guys are the best. This has been Jigsaw0097. I will talk to you all later.